In this regard, the dear viewers, I'm delighted to have over the phone Dr. Magdi Alam, the Global Environment Facility Advisor. Good evening, Dr. Magdi. Yes, you're welcome. Good evening. First of all, my question is, which countries are mostly affected by uh, the climate change in Africa? The actual is the drought, the most acute uh, action that are destroying a lot of the ecosystems because of the high drought. And actually, even the semi arid or arid lands are, have the same problems of decreasing the production of uh, a lot of cotton of, of uh, textile food being lost because of the high temperature and the climate and because of the extreme event, actually, because we did see also and noticed that a lot of extreme events affecting the ecosystem, either in the water system or in the soil system or in the air system itself. So it's actually a complicated uh, methodology must be actually or, or being done on one table, country representatives, to assure together that there will be annual program that this program reduce the GHG phenomena and reduce also the emissions of the hydrofluorocarbon or the biofluorocarbon or the, uh, the methane or actually the sulfur or the carbon, all of the six elements that increasing the temperature and uh, having a lot of problems with the the atmosphere, because if we have the seven layers of atmosphere and seven layers of land, we have problems of those layers according to the increase, the unlimited increase of the carbon and the unlimited increase of the fossil fuel uh, production used, and also the extreme uh, events of all the kinds, even the recession of the uh, water and the uh, increased salinity of the underground water in the well. And uh, if we have the, uh, for example, the four, 400 kilometers on our Mediterranean coast, but uh, in position of this, we have also a lot of wells, and that those wells being affected by the pollution and affected by the temperature which increasing more evaporation of such kind of reservoirs. So the, the fund allocated for the event that we have in Africa, and in spite of uh, the factor that Africa the totally have only 4% of the total emissions, but this uh, continent, the Africa continent, has a loss of ecosystems being destroyed by the uh, sand dunes and by the high temperature and by also the blinding of a lot of ecosystems which is protecting the feed system itself. So if we have the cultivation of food systems or we have the nexus among the water, the energy and the food, we cannot apply this because of the loss of the funds that we would like to finance this. We need some money and uh, some support from the international agencies to support the people who are living in a desert and semi arid lands or arid lands. This fund actually, is not, most of them must be granted, not loans, because if we have more loans, we have more problems also of the same system, because the over uh, of the funds related or related to such needs. So we'd like to have more grants rather than uh, the uh, system of the loans. The loans as adding a lot of uh, yeah, uh, problems for the farmers and a lot of problems for the stakeholders. So we, uh, we have a new, we must have a new era of dealing with the ecosystems to be protected, started on the Mediterranean system and the uh, Red Sea system, and even the Nile River itself, which is nowadays accused also by some of the attacks of problems because of the disorders uh, being not respected by the partners of uh, the Nile River sources. And we can see of Ethiopian, for example, some problems with their attacks to some of the already signed 
agreement to protect the share of Egypt and head Nile River. Then everybody starting with the pharaohs before even the states that we have nowadays. So the Nile River actually and its tributary and being uh, affected by uh, the supplies of the water for uh, Egypt and for Sudan and for even the south of Sudan. A lot of seven countries depending completely on the Nile River resources in addition to the other sources, of course, the rain uh, sources, the rain sources also is another one, but it is depending on the climate. If it is so drought, we haven't uh, our, our water or drops of water because this is not able for all people, especially who are on the borders of uh, Egypt, the borders like in uh, Siwa or like in South uh, Toshka or all the remote areas away from the main way of the Nile River. Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Dr. Magdi Alam, Global Environment Facility Advisor, for your very useful insights. I was delighted to have you over the phone. And dear viewers, now we're going to have a short break and we will be right back.